Welcome to today's I'm video, back. guys. May's back in the vlogs. Uh, she's just been busy with work. That's why you guys haven't seen her too much. Also, I've been kind of like going to Ebby Sue and whatnot while she's been busy at work. So I've been living the dream life. We've both been that's, living the dream that's life. That's true. Which is doing work. Work, 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 work. And work. Your work's busting it, right? Yeah. Loving it. What? <laughs> is it busting it? Buss it. Busting it. Bust it. Bust it. She doesn't watch TikTok. Let's just let's just keep that to no, ourselves, boys. What? Um, that aside, uh, where are we going right now? I don't know. Where are we going? We're going to Up Garage. Oh, of course. Yeah, we haven't been to Up Garage in a hot minute, and I want to see if they've got some more parts that we could put on the KTR. Um, and May always likes going to Up Garage. Also, what, what's the news? You want to tell them? She may or may not be getting a license soon. Oh. Maybe, maybe we'll find out. She's got to pass the we test. We have a lot of news. We have a lot of news. Yeah. That's the most important one. You don't no, 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 no. She's not pregnant, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to focus on driving. We're going to get to Up Garage and we'll pick it up from there. We've just arrived at our destination, Up Garage. And before I do anything, I have my wallet here. And to prevent myself from buying something I don't need, here, waifu, please, please take care of this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so we're, we're buying parts today? Yep, yeah, I'm bringing my wallet too. Okay. <laughs> God, I picked the right one. Alright lads, let's see what we can get today, hey? Looks like they got a shipment into the Valino Grievers in the Drift Tengoku like collaboration thing. There's really like, they're just Grievers. There's nothing special or different about them. They just uh, like pretty much put their logo on the side of the tire and on the box. So it's just kind of like a cool tire to have and be able to use. Like bragging rights, I guess. But we're going to walk around and see if we find any tires or wheels. Probably mainly just wheels I'm after, but we'll see if we can find anything decent today. Hey babe, do you think size matters when it comes to wheels? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Holy crap, these have gone up so much in money and price. Damn, so these are the 20s too, so these are supposed to be the cheaper ones. The LMG T4s with the engraved thing. So these are 20 inches and they're $7,000 USD. 10.5J, 10J. So these would be probably better suited for like a 35 GTR. I mean, they do have the brand new uh, Max like 600 tires on them from Dunlop. They are expensive tire, but they're used. I don't think they're brand new. They look used. Maybe they are brand new. I don't know. No, they are brand new. They got the ink on them. Just this one kind of has been scuffed on the side. Ooh, they're 19s, damn it. Those Advan RSs are nice. They've got some good wheels here now. Damn, okay. These cherry red work wheels are nice too. Oh, the, uh, the Volk Racing ones up there. I don't know the specific model of those. Does anyone in the comments do? Oh, the CE28s. There you go. I am. I like the bronze. You like the bronze? That's why you like the TEs, right? Yeah. The bronze? By like the way. These. These are CR kites. Have you been taking care of my dishes? Your wheels? They're not your wheels, they're my wheels. The KTR wheels. They look great, I just haven't washed them since buying them. It She's really gross. stroppy about it. <laughs> I need to tell him to wash it every time. Yeah, I still haven't washed them. Yeah, these are nice, 18s. Oh, they're 7.5 J's weak. Yeah. See what else we can find. Hmm. I'd, I'd love. Ooh. 7.5J. Weak. Ooh, these are nice. 9.5J, 10J. Negative 17, negative 30. That's some poke. Damn. They're 5 by 100s, though. Bummer. These are so big. What are these even? 26s. That's a big wheel. I thought they were like 30s or something. Damn, that is one clean 34 GTR. Very nice. Typical Bayside Blue. I see so many Bayside Blue GTRs, like it's kind of like, I don't know, they're just, they're just like, ah, another Bayside Blue 34 GTR, but these things are worth so much money now, it's insane. It looks like a base model one. Um, it's got a Z-Tune front end though. Really nice, actually super clean. Not a fan of the uh, the red seat though for the driver's seat. 
could be better. Still very, very nice. Look at this clean spec R on the CR Kai's. That's nice. They're, these are worth like 30 grand now in Japan. It's kind of crazy. Pretty clean 180SX too. Some impulse. I love this, the like textured kind of pink side there. That's awesome. And a B Wave wing. Very nice. I dig that a lot. Super cool. And over here, you get a nice little cappuccino. This thing's cool. I need to I need to meet someone who owns one of these and ask them to let me sit in it and see if I'll fit in it. One thing I have noticed though is like the thermal, like the uh, the climate control system, actually looks very identical to a Miata one. I don't know if you can see that. This thing we've seen before. This is a staff member's car. It's pretty cool, like reverse flipped in uh, steelies with all the dish, orange over fenders. Bit of a beater. It's got a Sea West. Is that a Sea West? Sea West wing? Yeah. So like the wing that was used on Paul Walker's 34. Super cool. Another black 180 here. Not bad. MR2. I like this color. It's like a, a bluey kind of gray. Really nice. The Suzuki Jimny just rocked up. Full of Tasha. Love it. <laughs> So good. I think the funniest thing is he's actually got a waifu pillow in the back there. <laughs> this is so cool. Four B guys getting into some Natasha. Only in Japan, right? So good. Those of you with sharp eyes would have noticed that this is not a GTR. I'm very impressed though. He fooled me. I noticed the Blitz return pipe intercooler under there. And then I also noticed the dash has the GTT cluster. But like he's gone and done the GTR wide body in the rear and it's blended perfectly. I don't see any line there at all, but this is so much wider in the rear. It's not a GTT rear end. Oh man, that's crazy. This is a like really good GTT conversion for a GTR. I can't believe it fooled me. I'm normally pretty good at that. So it seems like things have changed a fair bit in here with layout. Like this has got a whole bunch more boxes and stuff here of like pod pod filters and a bunch of filter stuff and then turbos they seem to be stocked up on a fair few of these a lot of turbo parts here we've got what is this thing rnn14 is that from a gtir front mount i think what is this is this a dose pipe or is this like factory look at this thing here <laughs> it looks like a dose pipe. That's OEM for sure, but damn, that makes some cool doo -doo -doo noises. That's cool. 200 bucks for this one. Pretty sure that's a GTIR Pulsar one. Yeah, I'm positive of that now. Very cool. We got some twins here from a 34 GTR. Got this little thing. This little guy is tiny, little baby. And then they got this thing here, which I think is a Evo Turbo. It's like a Chinese JM Turbo. We've got a 34 GTR Twins, again, $350. Got uh, twin turbos from a JZA80 Supra, six, 60 bucks. I think it's the single one, it's just one, and the second one's missing off the back of it, yeah. So just a single with like all the manifold pieces bolted on. A JZX100 Turbo, spare, $200. I gotta do something with mine because mine's starting to get a bit smoky. I'm not gonna be putting a stock one on. Well, I am, it's it's a long story. We got an S13 turbo here for a hundred bucks. Man. Oh, there's the other turbo, the A80 Supra. So these two, that's uh, $60 as well. 260 RS, so 33 GTR turbos. The 260 RS was the stage here, same drivetrain and everything is a 33 GTR. So these are 33 GTR turbos essentially. Not bad, bunch of other parts here, intake manifold stuff. Hmm, stock plenums, 26s, some exhaust pipes and things, not bad. Anything you're looking for today, May? Anything you got your heart set on? Oh dude, that's so low, it even hits seats. me. Seats? All right, let's go check out some seats. Any seats here that you like? <laughs> Of course she goes for the most expensive one here. There's a zero FRP. 
thousand dollars for a full halo seat though that's actually not that bad these are a really comfy seat yeah doing any proper competition where you require this halo really good seat that's what adam uses and they got the new zigs here another zero such a good seat so comfy some cool seats here there's a bricks too down there i uh, gave one of those away to emmy chan they're still they're selling for 300 dollars in like ratted out condition this this brid reclinable is pretty cool the betty smith collab expensive though 1600 dollars for a second hand used seat but it is really cool unique look at her fully intrigued it's cool right uh, have you sat in my new seat yet in the S15? I don't think you have. You have? No, I don't With think you. The, the new one, the new no. Zeta. No, you haven't. This, what is this? TRD, genuine, wait, $1,300 for this old seat? Oh wow, it's a genuine TRD. That's why, super rare. You can't find these anymore, really. That's why they're so expensive, just that one. Wow, someone will want that. Not that much of a choice here, to be honest. Hmm, what is this for? Oh, these have heaters and fans and stuff in them. These are like truck seats, really. That's so weird. Okay, I just spotted these, and this is just to give you an idea. These dirty 32 GTR seats here, $900. Jeez, pricing is crazy. It's too high, yeah. So here's another sign of the times that we're in. 35 GTR tail lights, a set of two, $200. Another set down here. These are a bit damaged, but $60. Then, come with me. These uneven GTR tail lights. These are GTT tail lights. $650. Man, I remember when I was buying 34 GTR Nismo tail lights, the ones with the ring of the LEDs, for this price. Like the rare Nismo tail lights for $650. These are GTTs. Like, oh boy. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. Kind of a little bit of a, a, light, a slice of life video, I guess. I have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> but uh, we're pretty much just chilling and hanging out for today. There's a lot of stuff happening in the background and behind scenes and some really big banger videos coming up. And kind of like, I guess what I'm trying to say is this is the filler in between, <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I know it's been a very long time since we've been able to do like a proper walkthrough kind of video at Up Garage. And May was free today, she had a day off, so why not? Damn, I reckon I could drop a lot of bass with this thing. Rockford Fosgate. This thing is like, whoo, aluminium core. Dude, that's a beefy sub. So this is kind of interesting, but Up Garage is now selling iPhones apparently. I mean, I'm not surprised because I know the license that they have to get to sell used goods here in Japan kind of covers you for everything. So it's like, if you can make another revenue stream, why not, right? They're not too badly priced, they're like, 500 bucks, pretty cheap, not bad, interesting though, never thought I'd see the day up garage selling used iPhones. What's this? Hmm? Oh, so that's a resistor that you put in to stop your airbag light coming on. Yeah, Bride sells these by the way guys, you can just buy these and wire them in, no more airbag light when you put a bread seat in. You can also use it um, for your uh, steering wheel airbag if you've got an aftermarket wheel. Why are these different? This is 1400, this is 1540. Yep. So just different levels of resistors. Different cars and stuff like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, so like one of these will be a higher resistance or a lesser resistance that, right. yeah. That way the computer thinks there's an airbag there, but there isn't. Right. Mm. Check this out, Power FC for an MR2 SW20, 1.2K. Controller and everything. Is it a D-Jetro or a J-Jetro? I can't tell. It's missing the sticker on the side. Some cams, struts. Where's all the Wi-Fi? What do you mean? You need 
need it. <laughs> They also, I need it when they, I get my They don't sell wise fat here, mate. <laughs> we did. We, we went, remember we went to one in Oh, with, yeah, the one in Koryama had wise fab. They had a S13 like version one wise fab for yeah. sale there. That's we true. We literally considered. We did. We all were like, Adam and me were like, should we buy that? It's so cheap. <laughs> I want to see if they've got anything new in the different engine category. Normally they have. Wait a minute. What? <gasps> mate, do you know what this engine is? Do you know what this engine is? Do you know what this engine is? Do you know? Uh, you can get this right. I will take you out for lunch. I'll show you lunch. It says there. What is it? No, but what, what kind of engine is this? Rotary engine. It's a rotary engine? All right, give me a fist bump. Good job. I'm proud of you. Also, isn't this like a... A 4 AGE head, like the 20 valve. Yeah, that's kind of cool. How much do they want for that? $140? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Dude, that's cool though. RX-8, Renaissance, um, 13B. There's a reason why it's there though. It's totally broken. <laughs> it's broken, for sure. It's apex seals. Hang on, where's the, where's the exhaust port? So the apex seals chill in there? <laughs> like, no, I don't know. Uh... There's a few diffs here. Um, I don't see anything though that I need. Just trying to go through everything. Mini Cooper transmission. Well, glad we got rid of that thing. <laughs> Somehow made more money. NB, Mazda transmission. What's this, Nissan? They don't know what it is. They don't know oh, what no. it is? They That's do, a GTR do. transmission. Well, they never put the 32 there. Yeah, it's the 30. Oh, it's down there, BNR 32 transy. It's a six speed roadster. Six speed roadster, yeah. This other one, though. So ND roadster it transmission. Like road. Yeah, that's the new the new ND roadster tranny, this one. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the Mazda logo. Yeah. They look so much beefier than the older ones. Yeah, that's why they I learned said. their lesson. They knew Sam was going to try and make 400 horsepower. Bunch of LSD centers and crown wheels. That's about it. <laughs> uh, in this box down here is a transmission off a of Prius, and they can't get rid of it. It's been here for like four years. They're selling it for ninety dollars. <laughs> I don't even know why this is here. The Z32 VQ. Uh, no, not a VQ. They're not a VQ. Hey, they're a uh, uh, VG, VG30 intake manifold. Well, I think that kind of sums up everything in Upgrade today. Yo, those though. Those. They look, that would look great in the back of the, the KTR. What do you reckon? The CRX? Yeah. You going to wipe the whole like prefecture up. Yeah. <laughs> There's even like a PA speaker here for 50 bucks. So unfortunately, there was kind of nothing that we wanted to spend money on. Are you a bit upset? I am pretty upset. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really like intentionally like come here to find something very specific. We were just looking for stuff for like the KTR, the Skyline, the S15, the Evo, any of those cars. And then anything May really wanted, like for maybe a future RX-8 or something. But there was nothing. It was a bust. Kind of, kind of upset. This NB is kind of nice though. Really nice and clean. Got a nice oil cooler in the front too. NK wheels, pretty sick. Hard top too, damn. All right, we're gonna jump in the KTR. Let's head home, maybe we'll clean these wheels. So because Up Garage was a bus, I figured I'd take May to my next favorite place around here that she hasn't been to before. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Do you hear something? Does it sound like the building's vibrating? No. We are at Big Bang. She can't hear it, obviously, but you can hear the, the uh, carts. You can probably hear it better now. Yeah, I could. So this is the slot car racing? We're not, we're not doing that, we're going up, 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 up. I'm gonna teach you how to drift at Big Bang. <laughs> yeah. 
You excited? You scared. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Are you ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just gonna follow you and see what you do. Oh no. <laughs> so the left pedal is brake and the right pedal's accelerate. And the steering wheel, these are very slippery. They slide all over the place. So they will drift no matter what. So you've got to counter steer. Wait, wait. Left is left is brake. Brake. Yeah, okay. right is excel. Okay. That's the other way, then it's gonna be very, very. And and all of these are gonna slip out in the rear. So you gotta counter steer. Like they're gonna drift all the time, no matter what you do. So you have to counter steer, okay? So my my advice to you is counter steer and accelerate throttle. You'll be right. You got it. Wait, if I'm going that way, then I should go this way. Yeah. So if the rear of the car is slipping out like this, you counter steer in that right. You got this. Now we're both stuck. You're good, you're good. <laughs> go, 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 go. You got this, you got this, man. You got this. <laughs> you got, hey, I got you, I got you. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. You got this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> you trying to hit the guy? <laughs> you nearly hit him. <laughs> so first time, how was it? I'm not happy with myself. You're not happy? You want to do some more skids, some more drifting? Yeah. All right, we're going back out there. But what did you think of like the example that I put down? Uh, go after. Yeah. And full throttle. Yeah, okay, full throttle, I like that. The flick, yep, yep. And then you pull full throttle again. Yep. You bring the momentum. Yep. And then you put a little bit of brake on top and then you go forward. Okay, sure. I, I'm just gonna let you figure it out. <laughs>
we're going to let her do a few laps and then we'll see how she's doing. That's it. Oh, look at you guys. Rattle, rattle. A little tap. Put you back on track. <laughs> she's doing pretty good. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> you doing donuts. Doing donuts, doing donuts. Yeah! Woo! Look at you go! 360! Yay, yay! Oh! 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 No! Another donut! <laughs> yes! So this is a Japanese size salt. You guys know how short I am. This is how tall the, the door is. Your head's poking out from the toilet. Oh, well, you still that in the vlog? Yeah. I need to actually wash my hands then. Hey, you always <laughs> wash your hands. I'm jerking, guys. Okay. Please. <sighs> Did you have fun? Yeah. I use a lot of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No one ever says that when like they go drifting. But like you understand like what I was talking about with throttle control. Because like Mae was saying like, oh, it's just throttle on, throttle on, throttle well, on. that's I'm like, why you said. Well, I just said, yeah, okay, because I wanted you to learn that. But it's all about like on, off, on, off, on, yeah, off, on, okay, off, so and break and yeah. Full, so you go full throttle and then we need to, how do you call that? Drift? Slide, just slide? say slide or transition, yeah. When you're in drift, it's like on, off, on, off. You go counter off, like, steer and control. then you let the car go sideways, but you don't. Uh, when you feel the rear grip up, you go on, off. No. Eh? No, no, no. Well, yeah, I guess when you feel the rear grip up. Well, kind of. It's more about the front. Because everything's really slippery on these cars. And what happens is if you just throttle on, you spin out, right? Like in real life. Hi. So what you do is as you come in, you kind of slide for a bit, touch the brake a bit, make sure you've got the right angle that matches how much angle the, uh, the car gives you. And then you just kind of on, off, on, off throttle as you like control the slide through. If you just stay on throttle the whole way through, you spin out no more. Like, you understeer and spin out right away. It's really hard driving these carts, actually. Like, to do a really good drift line is super difficult. Well, that was for my first time. I think I did pretty well. I think you did great. I think you did great. Where's my... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Back home now, guys, and uh, that last scene you saw was actually when the battery decided to die in the camera. So my bad, but that was pretty much the end of our day. We went home right after that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. It was just a really chill day being able to hang out with May on one of her days off and stuff like that. So it was really, really cool. And I hope you guys got to enjoy kind of like the kind of stuff that we do for fun behind the scenes that you guys don't get to see a lot of. Uh, like I said, yes, this was a filler episode, um, but... There is a lot of really crazy content in the back end that is happening and uh, I'm also just getting things all ready for the big comp that's coming up in a couple weeks um, and getting the S15 sorted out and uh, so much stuff behind the scenes. Um, even maybe another car purchase has happened. Um, I don't know, maybe if you follow me on Twitter you'll know about that. But anyways, uh, a lot of hectic stuff. Love you guys. Smash the like button, write the comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Go grab yourself some merch too. There's only limited supply of the JZX shirts left, so don't sleep on those. Never being made again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata. Oh.